what's going down, Commanders? Just the event briefing here, just the early morning, usual thing for the event. Uh, the, the event show to come to later tonight, live stream, by the way, guys. Uh, as always, I asked you to uh, give this a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like it, because I'm, I, I'm still not sure whether people like this or not. I think people just put, give us the thumbs up because it's I asked them, basically. Um, Operation Speak Mayhem. I so badly want to say Mayhem, and I don't know why. And then, uh, this is posted by Kickside Drake. And the artwork for this is off the hook. I do like it. So anyway, it starts today, March the 3rd at 10 a.m. PST, which is around 6 p.m. GMT. You're going to have to work out your own time zone from that. Ends March 9th at 10 a.m. PST. Again, 6, 6, 6 p.m. G, uh, GMT. Store closes March 10th, 10 a.m. PST. Featuring the Survivor's Tuxton Unit, the Pathfinder. Pathfinder Gold Tech, Cluster Rockets. Bedlam Bombardment and Phil Philly Bunker Buster. Bronze Tech for the Fighter Company. Omega Fighter Company Parts. Sandstorm Mark II Reactor Weapons. Oh, they've given it another fucking tech. Oh, War Paints, sorry. War Paints. It's a bit early. I've, I've not even had my first coffee. Bear with me. Yeah, Still too hot. Right, the Pathfinder. It's a Series 1, Generation Series 1, Faction Survivors, Type Air, Weapon Rockets, Weapon Tech, tung weapon tech Tungsten, Targets Grand, Damage Type Burst, Size two, 225, Hit Points at Level 1, or Health Points at Level 1, 121 million, Health Points at Max Level, 140 million, DPS at level 1, 21,687,708. DPS at max level, 25 million. That doesn't change. It doesn't change by a lot. Neither of them numbers. Anyway, DPS at max level, 25,035,748. I normally ran them off, but there you go. Uh, speed is 7, which isn't super, super fast, but it's quick enough. Uh, max range 500. This all depends whether this is um, if the screamer is going to come back into effect here. Anyway, so max range is 500, which is pretty pretty good for a fast moving unit. Uh, talent level 10, 15 percent reduction of all damage taken. Level 20 adds a 360 degree AA turret. Survivor's bonus increases fire uh, rate of fire. Description: A powerful gunship built by the for most survivor scrappers, the Pathfinder circles the battlefield in search of fresh prey and its powerful rocket pods are a major threat to any grand and unit unlocked, unlucky enough to be caught in its sights. Fuck me, I nearly got that all wrong. Bear with me. Earn the Pathfinder by completing the mission track on the event or in the event store. I think you only get one or two of the units for the mission tra track, so it's false. You do need to buy buy most of them from the uh, price store. Description. This is the de description for the Speak Mayhem and Enter. Uh, Greg and Jasma made their way out of the simulation only to stumble right into the return of May Mayhem. Can our protagonists hope to win? In Operation Speak Mayhem and Enter, commanders will be faced with the mission track and the challenge base track, earn huge amounts of XP, and it's not huge. They're not huge amounts of XP. They're, they're underpaid, if anything, a lot of the bases. And unlock the bonus challenge base for the for your chance for a huge XP payout. Again, it's not that huge. Use the event XP to purchase prizes in the event store. Mayhem Faction. Mayhem returns to the sector. After pa patiently waiting for years for the right moment to strike, this faction is ready to show chaos amongst their foes. Ooh, I need to take a picture of that. Oh, fuck. Bear with me, guys. Sorry. <coughs> Mayhem. Mayhem isn't just... Mayhem isn't just their name. It's what they bring. Muskox. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The, right. the Muskox is a Mayhem reliable AA workhorse built to consider, consistent, consistently knock enemy aircraft out of the sky. That looks pretty cool. Land Fox. Mayhem prime, Mayhem's prime... Mayhem? Yeah, Mayhem's primary infantry. <laughs> the Land Fox boasts a powerful rifle and a keen survival sense that makes them formidable foe. 
again. It's an old dude with a beard, an old hippie with a beard by the looks of it. Event store structure, may, uh, enemy mayhem, six story missions, challenge track base, deployable units, all units. You can repeat the mission track for multiple times for XP catch, prizes and trophy levels, but you will only receive the Pathfinder Abraham on the p first playthrough. The difficulty of the mission track will increase with ev each repeat. This is bog standard, guys. I'm not going to go through this. These are just exactly the same as last time. No, no adjust adjustments being made. Right, the revised challenge track has now now has you moving through as you would traditionally go through the event track. Each base will will award XP upon completion, and the and after beating the bases one to four. You'll receive an additional 250,000 XP bonus, as well as unlocking the challenge bonus base for a chance at an extra huge payout, which is 500, uh, which is 275,000. There is, looks like there is a ultra base coming in this event that pays out 500,000 a pop, and you can do that with the ultra bases. A lot of people have got confused. You can literally do the ultra base over and over again. You haven't got to play one to four, five, and then do the ultra base. You can go straight to that ultra base and do it over and over again. Depending on its difficulty, it might be worth doing. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But I just like the challenge, so I always, that's normally my first video out. A 250,000 XP bonus will be awarded upon completion of, basically, I've read that already. Right, rewards and trophies. So bronze catch, the trophy looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can zoom out just slightly. That trophy, actually it looks more like a cartoon. It's a throne of some kind. Yeah, that looks like a padded seat. Anyway, rewards, uh, bronze catch, series one bronze tech times one. I don't know where, these, where we get these rewards. It must be through the main track playthrough. Series 1 tech times one of each. Series 1 gold tech, one of each. Electromagnetic catch Templar hoplite wastelander plus build logistics times two. Uh, the store, new to the event store. The Pathfinder is a cap of 34, 240,000 a pop. Cluster rockets Pathfinder gold tech, 220,000 a pop. Pathfinder Upgrade Logistic Kappa 10, 325,000. Bed Bedlam Bombardment for the Fighter Company Bronze Tech, 980,000. Philly Bunker Buster Fighter Company Bronze Tech is 980,000. I just need a mouthful of coffee. And like a fag. I'm going to smoke a fag, guys. Right, Sandstorm Mark II Reactor War Paints, uh, Kappa 1 each, is a million a pop. And this is my problem with these war paints. They look the fucking same in every fucking event. They're the same as the Abraham war paints. They're the same as the Crucible war paints. They're the same as the fucking Phobos war paints. They're the, they're the, the most cheaply and easily, easily made fucking war paints you can put out. There's no fucking effort put into them whatsoever. And they want a million per fucking war paint. Fucking cheapskates. Fighter Company part is 195,000. You need eight of them to get your Fighter Company if you haven't got it. Elite Fighter Com Company part is 145,000. Or you can buy a pack of four Elite Fighter Company parts for 540,000. You need 40 of them Elite parts. Right, here comes the cluster rockets for the Pathfinder. Effects primary slot shot launches a cluster missile that fragments into multiple bombs. Slot training rarity gold. Event XP 220,000 each. And there's, there's the, that's what I'm talking about with the war paints. Absolute fucking joke. And, and the problem is it lags your game out when you put them on. It'll load the unit when you put it into the base, and then it'll load the war, war paint straight after. So if you've got a bad computer, probably not a wise thing to do. Anyway, there are a million each, guys. Use it or lose it will be only 24 hours long. Please be sure to re redeem your prizes by 10 a.m. PST on Thursday. March 10th. I'm sure I've read that as well. Right, the fighter company is now getting some mega levels. Defeating the sector gold base will grant you a mega fighter company parts. You'll learn up to 20 parts in a single hit. And we raise the minimum to two parts. So basically, you can it's it, if you only get two parts, it's 40 bases roughly. 
The conclusion of the event sector goal basis is going to be automatically unlocked for one last at the conclusion. Sorry, guys, I'm not reading things right. The sector can still unlock the early early, early join the event with sector XP. You cannot lock it, unlock it with se sector. Oh yeah, you can unlock the base. You can use that little little was it looking for this additional attack window and have your platoons ready commanders what are the sector goal bases I think everyone knows this but just in case sector goal bases are that's my coffee coming back up a limit skewed excuse me a limited time base that have, that have the commanders facing off against the mega unique units to win the rare and mega parts that unlock them these bases are only found during the monthly events are initially locked Commanders within the sector must collectively earn X sector XP to reach the sector goal. And unlock the sector goal basis, commanders, commanders can earn XP by completing monthly missions or by trading in the e event XP in the event store for sector. They can make that more complicated. Right, guys, basically, only in the main fucking event during the month can you fucking earn the uh, mega, uh, mega Fighter Company uh, parts. Outside the event, except for the last, the hour after the event finishes, you cannot earn them. I'm not going to read the rest of that because that's just fucking confusing. Right, is the uh, Bedlam bombardment effects adds a confusion effect to the fighter company bombs. Slot payload, rarity, bronze, e event XP, 980,000. Fully bunker buster effects adds delay, delayed cluster bombs that target, that go off after the main bombs and add a burst status. Slot play, uh, payload, rarity bronze. That burst status ain't bad, but it's only dependent on whether the fighter company is going to be any good for it in bases. If it's just a cleanup unit, you're not even going to worry about that. And that is the um, event briefing, guys. Not much change, not a few new units in there. I wish they would fucking put out decent war paints, you know, put some effort into it. Other than that, I'm. I'm I'm liking the look of this new aircraft. I can't say it's it's going to be one of them ones where it's a, a suicide unit. So it's, it kicks. I know this is going to make them money. Once again, I don't call them a unit, so I won't be able to give you a level twenty. Uh, the results or anything like that. But the, I wouldn't say the fucking it, it changes that drastically. It's a very uh powerful unit at start and then it only gets a little bit more powerful with levels with 20 levels anyway guys you got anything you want to put there just just put it in the description below or the comment section below and we can have a discussion about this i always like a, a little debate i'm looking forward to this unit i've got to admit as much as i understand it's going to be a suicide unit i think this might open uh it'll crack peak players bases a little bit easier at the, at, at the upper level with survivor faction we can only wait and see Anyway, guys, take care. Peace out. Love you all. Bye-bye.